Uh, with two men being questioned under caution by officers investigating cash for honours allegations linked to King's Charles Charity, the Prince's Foundation, it's not looking great for the monarch in his first few weeks on the job. Joining me now to discuss this is Talk TV legend Kevin O'Sullivan, uh, the Queen Elizabeth's former press secretary, good friend of mine, Dickie Arbiter, and Daily Mirror associate editor Kevin McGuire. Let's start with you, Dickie, if we can. I thought you would. You would say, so he's got a temper. George V had a temper, George VI had a temper, the Queen had a temper, Charles has got a temper, William's got a temper, they've all got a temper. But did any it's of them the ever take on, money in a plastic bag it's from Saudi Arabia? Jeans. But come on, the money. That, that, you, know, you know I'm a royalist, okay. but it isn't the, a good look for a, no, it's for a good, monarch it's, to accept in, in, and, you know, that story is relevant, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but according to the charity commissioners, he did nothing wrong. They're all collecting money. All the charities are collecting money. Rattling tins in the street. They're collecting tens of thousands. It's cash. <laughs> OK, he... Excuse me. They say he got a bag of money. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you know these two people they've questioned, Dickie? Would one of them be Fawcett, do we think? The, 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 Probably. The, the former right-hand man. Is, is Fawcett... I mean, we don't know if that's true. That's an alleged comment, of course. But here's the thing that I find quite interesting. Fawcett and he were inseparable. Is, is Fawcett going to keep quiet out of loyalty or is he going to spill his guts, do you think? Because he's been thrown out royally. Well, he has been thrown out. He, he was forced to resign because he was involved in the in the cash for honours scandal. I mean, how he, how he got there in the first place? Because he's not in a position to offer uh, honours. Only uh, the government can issue honours in certain quarters. On the other hand, the Queen is used to issue honours, which the King can now do. But it has to be on the recommendation of the sovereign. Do you think um, that? Uh, Kevin, that, that Charles's judgment has been called into into doubt because of Fawcett, because of you know money in bags, or do you think this is just the people who are anti the monarchy, the Republican arm of the United Kingdom will <laughs> do <laughs> anything? <laughs> <Yeah. Maguire> will <laughs> do anything to get rid of Matt. Bear in mind just how amazingly popular the monarchy is after the last couple of weeks. Well, well the Queen was. We'll see whether part of the monarchy died with her, and if he is as popular. But he was shaking the charity tin for the rich because he was living in some of the properties that were being done up with his cash. The money no, no, in no, the no, bag, no, no, the no, money no, in the no, bag was the Qatari. Uh, Qatari. The, Saudi, the Saudi is alleged to have been offered help to get an honour and citizenship and other favours and had a forest named after him at the Castle of May in gratitude by Prince Charles. Look, this is not good and it's why I think the whole hereditary principle and the uh, succession being immediate this couldn't be investigated and scrutinised before you got the job. Anybody else go for a job in public life, this was hanging over you, these allegations are made, you would be put on hold, you would not be confirmed in your post until it was cleared up. And there he is, he's sitting tight now, he's got the top job, and the police are investigating his business dealings. But they that did charity. say at the time Ke that he personally huh? had done nothing wrong. Ke Kev Mark II, is this, is, I mean, you're a royalist like me, it... Is it bad judgment? Is it the Republicans stirring up a hornet's nest? How do you see it? I think that Prince Charles, uh, as he was then, uh, showed appalling judgment uh, a serial number of times. Uh, these sacks full of cash, as Dickie quite rightly says, not criminal, but a terrible, terrible look. The cash for honours, he should never have been involved in that. Uh, he's got himself into some serious scrapes and the police may well have to interview the monarch of this land. That is how bad. How does that work? That is bad. Yeah, however, but... however, I wish him well. Uh, I hope he can control his temper. Uh, and he needs... To... I don't like his ideas about a smaller monarchy. I don't like his ideas about a meagre little coronation. We want majesty from the royal family. We want the kind of spectacle we saw at the funeral. We want that for the coronation. So I'm not sure he has the right yeah. ideas, but, but I wish him well. But one of his staff was involved with cash for honours. He personally wasn't involved. Fawcett, if it was him was not in a position to offer honours. But then you have, Dickie, uh, and I, you know on. I agree with you, but then, but then I'm bringing you back to my favourite subject. Boris Johnson had to go, but it was all the people in Downing Street. Why did he have to go then? Does the main man not have to take responsibility, I guess, is the yeah, question. The main man only takes responsibility if he knows that that is right. what his person is doing. Look, I worked for him for five years. I didn't tell him everything I was doing. I was told to get on with the job, and I got on with the job. If I needed to know something, then I would phone him. But cash for honours... That was a rogue employee.
going off on his own, uh, uh, offering... Allegedly. My allegedly. Michael, Michael Fawcett is right-hand man. Yeah. Bad judgment no. to have him as his right-hand man, then. What but interestingly, it? Michael Fawcett, Dickie, has had to resign three exactly. times. Yeah. Well, now, exactly. there's the argument. Yeah. If, if Charles... And apparently, I don't know, you'd know more than me, apparently it was Camilla who said, you are going to ruin... Your, your coronation and everything that's going to happen unless you get rid of this bloke, because this is the third time. That, that, they're in, and we're both right, that isn't great judgment. The first, the first two times he was fired. Um, oh, was he? he? He was fired within the household. He was doing... How the, did he get back, then? He, he got back because <clears> he was <throat> out of the household. He was running the charities. The man who knew yeah. too much, yeah? Yeah. yeah that's you must admit, that's Dickie, that was bad it's judgment what? for Prince Charles what? to what? have this guy what? back in the fold. What, 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 what a family, though. What a family. You have Andrew, who pays £12 million to keep a sex case out of court. You've got Harry making all sorts of uh, accusations with his wife that they're, they're racist and pretty deplorable. And now... You've got Charles. Don't get me started you've on got her, Charles. though. Don't, don't, don't no, but get you know, me started on her. Now you've got Charles, thought, who, through his foundation, has a police investigation. I, I, I must say, when I read this, and Dickie knows this, the old man worked for the royal family 41 years, I'm a royalist. The, the, the last mm. thing the old man ever said to me was... Daddy Penn. He didn't mm. say that. He said, I fear that the monarchy will never be the same after the Queen. The mm. Queen transcended, I said this yep. the other day, she transcended, I think, almost every part of this country, religion... Colour, creed, background, social class, because she was this stoic, unbelievable... You, ne you said, Dickie, very honestly, she had a temper. I never saw her no. in 70... Well, I wasn't been like... No. I've never seen her on day three. Of course, it's a stupid pen. She was this amazing woman. She admitted, did she not, she made one mistake, the Aberfan thing in, in Wales. But, but actually... The monarchy has changed, hasn't it? We know more than we ever did before, don't we? Well, yes, I mean, th this is... Charles's uh, predicament. I mean, he's had to live his whole life in the spotlight. Yeah. Uh, the royal family have had to adapt to the media. And funnily enough, I think the Queen was much better at adapting to this new media-controlled world than Prince Charles and King Charles now. There is this sort of aspect to King Charles that he's, he's like a, a figure from the past. A, you know, a, a very a regal character who snaps at his staff and gets annoyed with pens. You know, get, get that pen sorted out for me. Uh, something There's something anachronistic about him, and he's got to raise his game in that respect. But as I keep saying, I wish him well. And I do think he's a decent man. All of the problems he's got into with these sacks of cash, he was just trying to raise money for charity. Uh, but bad... Well, he was. Kevin. It was his he charity. Was. What do you, what do you think he was doing? Taking it for himself? Re re renovate, renovate, he wasn't taking it for himself, was he? Renovating buildings but he it wasn't it. taking it for himself. Oh, That's right. where some of the money it, it went. Wasn't, it wasn't it was for himself, for charity. It was for the Come prince's on, You know that as well as I do. Yeah. It wasn't for did himself. Did he renovate any buildings with that cash? No. Yes, he did. Well, that's, why, that's why he's got a forest. The Saudi guy's got a forest named at the you're, Castle of You're Bay. making allegations that he is renovating no, buildings that he lived it, in. It, his it, buildings. It was, it's, if you're really posh and you've got a load of money and you can in tap people up, you <laughs> yeah. can have foundations and you can say, this building is in a, found, in a foundation. Most of us just buy our homes and we own them. And that, that Not anymore it. with a mortgage, very, right? It's it's disaster. Disaster. That's, that's rather true. You'll be we can't protected. sell our houses, we can't buy a house, we but, can't rent anywhere. But I think, Jeremy, you'll find that he's protected from all that. Why for, are you for so anti-the-monarchy? For instance... Why are you he's so anti-the-monarchy? He's always, he's always he been anti He doesn't even pay inheritance tax. Hold on a second. On the fortune. When you inherited. saw the outpouring of grief, when you saw the British public do what they did, right? Yeah. Does I, that not make you think I, that the British public support the monarchy? Serious question. They supported the Queen, certainly, unquestionably, because did you they... watch the funeral? They could... Uh, no, I didn't. I, saw, I caught the end of it in St George's uh, Chapel. When he arrived... I, I thought the queue, the queue was impressive and people wanted to pay when their... When he arrived in Charles, and, so and I'm a respectful when public, he arrived, Republican, when so he I wasn't going to kick off. When he arrived at Buckingham Palace, first time... There was applause for him, there was cheers for him. He went in on a walkabout. A woman pulled him forward to give him a kiss on the cheek. No protection officer pulled her away. The people enjoyed it. He stopped his car the following day he in did. the mouth, yeah, did an impromptu but the, but the, walkabout. But the, the people who went he are hit his... the ground running. The, the yeah. people, the people who right, went are, he, are his supporters. It's like saying... Um, oh, no. A, a, you, can, a you can't say Kevin. You can't say Kevin. A footballer Look, will be praised in their... You cannot say Kevin that the initial is. signs aren't that the public support King Charles, because they just do. They, and, he, and he's played a blinder ever since he took let's, over. Let's watch the street. Uh, involving the, the people, as you let's said, Dickie. Very interesting. Listen, the, any monarch nowadays, uh, I, I suspect you're right, the accountability and the scrutiny is far greater than the Queen. So I don't be. think anybody will ever 
follow the Queen. I they think it's, a, it's like trying to follow... This is a ridiculous analogy, forgive me. How Give do you follow Sir Alex Ferguson at Manchester United? It's just not possible, yeah. was it? I think the Queen transcended everything. And give Charles a chance. I think that's what we're Agreed. saying. Agreed. Fantastic. Agreed. Thank you, gentlemen.